as you know from watching my videos, I do like classical guitars. They're fun. I often pick them up and play them. They're very intimate. And um, with all this obsession over origin of uh, instruments these days, which I think is largely unfounded, based on the way instruments are manufactured, I have noticed um, that people are collecting or are seeking out Japanese classicals, and there are a lot of them. Um, some well known, some not, some not so well known. I've got a couple that aren't so well known. This here is a Franciscan. It's a student model guitar, but it's uh, Japanese made. Um, spruce top, mahogany back and sides, um, normal uh, woods and materials, but it's you know, it's got the hallmarks of that uh, sort of 60s, 70s era, era uh, Japanese making. It's very well done, very precise. Um, and they're worth finding. Uh, they always make decent guitars. They need a lot of setup because a lot of them beat up, but uh, once you get them together, uh, they make very, very good guitars. So that's Franciscan. I'm also going to show you uh, another one that I found. Hang on one second. And this one here is an off maligned make, and this is a Kent. As you can see, it's a Kent Iberia. And Iberia, of course, is a province in Spain. This one's got a particularly nice resonant voice. Um, very clear, nice, uh, precise bass tones, um, not muddy. Uh, it's, it's one of the nicer models by uh, um, Kent. And um, Kent are a weird brand. I've found Kent guitars that are absolute crap. I mean, just lowest of the low, and I found some that are really, really nice. And then if you, uh, you know, look at uh, uh, stock photos of various rock icons, you see people like David Bowie playing Kent guitars. Um, they've cropped up in uh, a few uh, fairly famous situations, um, and I believe it's, uh, you know, uh, mid nineteenth century or mid twentieth century uh, maker. And they made, you know, quite a slew of guitars that got put out through channels like Sears and Roebuck and um, probably Montgomery Wards, places like that. And a lot of them were uh, forgotten now. They're in, they're in heaps uh, uh, and not really worth anything. But you come across a guitar like this that's, you know, really nice rosewood with a spruce top. Um, I don't see too many of these around. It's the Iberia, Iberia series, Ibera series, and it's uh, it's a cut above the the usual fare. But it's also I, I, it doesn't say made in Japan, but I did some research on the uh, Kent name, and uh, they're made um, uh, for a period. They made this model uh, in Japan uh, in the uh, 60s and early 70s. So. Uh, it's worth keeping your eye out for. It's very nice rosewood uh, board and uh, bridge. Uh, an excellent rosette. It feels inlaid. Um, nice tuners. I think they're original. I don't see any signs of them being replaced. Uh, nice appointments on this guitar. A very, very nice Japanese made classical. And every time I have these, and, and, and if I don't keep them, I put them up for sale, they go quickly. People seem to uh, desire. Uh, Jap Japanese made stuff. Jap Japan is the new USA uh, and I think Korea is the new Japan is what I'm hearing in, in guitar circles. Uh, and now I'm hearing good things about Indonesian makes um, and uh, even India is getting in on the act. So uh, you know, this origin thing uh, where these countries get maligned for so many years, I remember when Japan got scoffed at um, for their uh, instruments. Now they're desirable, now they're collectible, now they're considered a cut above uh, everything else coming out of uh, Asia. So it's interesting to see the trends and how things change. But if you can get your hands on a nicely made Japanese uh, guitar from anywhere between the, the uh, 50s and 70s, um, chances are you'll, you'll have a nice instrument. See you next time.